morning. Morning, Vicky. Yeah. Mike. Special Tammy, special Tammy, good morning. Tammy. Surprise. Yes. Good morning. Yes. I asked Tammy to join us this morning. <laughs> Our lovely and talented sales manager. <laughs> Thank you. Thank is you here so today. Much. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on in sales? We're about mid year now. We're having a super year. Uh, I think a lot has to do with our um, showroom, our new showroom. Well, everyone that comes in has a positive comment about it. Yes, Everybody. yes. And more yes. people are coming in. Yes. Cool. Clients can come in and see all kinds of products and it helps people with ideas and yeah. then they see it and they say, oh, I can use that. I didn't know it exists. So cool. I think that's a big part of it. And a lot of uh, previous clients are coming back to us thanks to you guys doing great work. Appreciate it. Really, really mm -hmm. matters. I asked Tammy here for two reasons this morning. She is working um, with Cox on our next job. Yes, yes. Uh, it's a great project. They have grown a lot, Cox Communication. They have the same space that they've been keeping their equipment in. And it's production studio equipment. It's mics and cables and cameras. And it needs better organization because it's the same space but a lot more stuff. So they knew how to, who to call, and we're going to go in and make specific areas for specific equipment. Oh, an okay. area for cables, an area for cameras, an area so everything's really organized and real functional for them. That way they don't keep it like my kids' closets and uh, things like that. Like untangling yeah. Christmas. Okay. Like right. <laughs> untangling Christmas. I think it would be like, not like your kids' closets. Right. <laughs> right. Okay, good. good. Yeah, so I've asked Karen to be the designer because she's super detail-oriented, mm -hmm. and her jobs go so smoothly that we you know, want to kind of impress them. Okay, yeah, you know, we've been advertising with them for about 12 years. Right. So it's nice to be able to do some work for them. So anyhow, anything else? No, that's it. Thank you, okay. Vicki. Here's our uh, paperwork for you. All right. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Okay, right. thank you everyone. Tammy, thanks for stopping thank you, by. No Everybody work safe. Let's take care of Cox Communication. I'm sure Tammy and Karen will be out there today to check out the job. Woo! Right. Yeah, and, have a good uh, long day. Thank you. Hey, I'm Will Rodriguez. I'm the manager of programming and production here at Cox Creative Services in Hampton Roads. Today is the big day where we are going to have Closet Factory come in and clear out our storage room and build out something that's going to help us kind of put everything together. We've been doing the show for, this is the second year, and it never really occurred to me to have them say, hey, why don't you come and do our storage room because we need a lot of help. Um, but somewhere along the lines, uh, Jeff at Closet Factory thought it would be a great idea. So he approached us and said, would you be interested in, of course, yes. I mean, what, do you, what do you say when something like that comes along? We had Karen come in and do the design consultation. And um, after we picked her up off the floor from seeing what she had to do, um, she came up with this design that uh, is going to allow us to put in, uh, make some sort of order out of the chaos that's in our storage room currently. So very excited to see how it all comes out. Hi, I'm Kim with Closet Factory. I was called by Will to come take a look at his production media room. When I actually got here, this room was completely full. The first thing that went into my mind was how was I going to get the measurements of all these walls when I couldn't even walk into the room. So. I pulled out my laser and um, Will helped me make a couple of paths in the room to actually take my laser and get the measurements of the walls. As I got to the back wall, that was pretty interesting. We had to make a path back there. Um, and when I actually took the measurement of the wall, the wall ended up being seven and a half inches longer than the opposite wall. I kept looking at my laser wondering why the measurements were not the same and it turned out that this wall over here was actually angled. Um, 
it is not a wall that you would immediately walk into the room and see that it is an angled wall because as you can see it looks like a normal 90 degree angle. So when I was taking the measurements that was a complete surprise to me. So after I took all the measurements of the walls then I um, spoke with Will as to what exactly did he want to keep in here and what he wanted to get rid of. Over on this wall we were going to build 30 inch deep shelving in order to accommodate cases such as these only they were medium sized and they also had um, cases that were small so we're going to do one section over here that's medium and then small over here. I believe that Jeff and Tammy when they decided to who they were going to assign to the project took into consideration who had the proper equipment to do the measurements of this room. Um, they were well aware that I am pretty much the only designer that goes into a client site and uses a laser to do wall measurements. I believe I was the only one that had a laser to do these measurements. I believe that was why they chose me to do the project. I'm Nick, we're here at Cox Creative Services. We're gonna install their production gear closet, help them get everything more organized. So we're gonna go inside and take a look at the space. The only aspect about this job really that we had to pay attention to was um, they needed certain spacing and some of the shelving to fit certain size film baskets and whatever they're gonna use in cameras and equipment and stuff like that. So. We just had to make sure that we had all the sizes of that so when the guys went out and installed, they could do all the spacing correctly. It's probably the most I've ever had in the van at one time. 98% of this job is two feet deep. Some of it is about uh, two and a half feet deep. And there's like maybe a total of uh, six items that's only 12 inches deep. Well, it's not even that, it's 14 inches deep. So yeah. A lot of considerable weight. Yeah. So. But good thing they sent the two strongest guys in the factory to come out here and do this one. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, how are you today? Today is a great day. We have, uh, we have rain coming in, so we have some stuff for you to do inside. One is listening to At Home with Dwayne Cotton. We have a in-studio guest, which is cool, uh, Tamara Lenz. How are you? Good morning. I'm very well, thanks. And you're with the Closet Factory in Hampton Roads. I am. Now, what are some of the items that you design in homes? Can you give us sort of a rundown? We do closets, pantries, um, wall units for entertainment centers. I can do coat closets. I can do garages. I've done cat condos at a kennel in Virginia Beach so that people no longer board their cats in metal cages. It was funny. I went into a client's house just a few weeks ago about a master closet. And while I was there and I was talking about the installation of the closet and they said, well, will the installers be Juan and Mike? And I said, how in the world did you know that? And they said, well, we've been watching your TV show, so we feel very comfortable with you, Tamara, very because good. we've seen you working. We've seen Juan and Mike install closets. We know everything about Closet Factory, so that's why we want you to do our job. We, we won't consider anyone else. That's amazing. And that's what I really like about the personal uh, relationship that you can form with a company before you've ever even talked to them. Yes. You turn on the TV, you can watch it, you can get a, a level of comfort that's that well you're happy with and you see this and you're more inclined to call and that's what I really think it's a good idea and uh, I'm glad you're doing it. it's pretty awesome and you have fun I mean we're filming here today for you doing this interview yes so you're sort of seeing what you um, as a designer not only are you designing a closet but you have a life too so what are you doing outside that design oh gosh do I have a life <laughs> what are you doing later today? I am having a paintball war in my backyard. Love it. <laughs> my um, friends from church and then some other friends and kids' friends are all coming over and we're going to have a paintball war. We're going to play Capture the Flag in the backyard and they're actually going to film it for the show. Nice. I like it. That's <laughs> going to be fun. 
Well, it's been a great show. It's been a great show, Ken. We have uh, can understand a little bit better about organization and some of the stuff that calls, but uh, it's, uh, it's a real deal. It's a real issue. We're out of time. AM 1650 WHKT Portsmouth. Stay tuned. Another hour coming up. Hi, I'm Tamara. Welcome to my home. Come on in. So I am a designer with Closet Factory. I've been with the company 12 years now. In addition to just having the best job in the world, I love it because it gives me all the flexibility I need to have a real life, which consists of being a wife, being a mom of four. And with the four of them, three of them live at home right now and there's just a lot going on around my house. We moved into this house three years ago from Virginia Beach. And when we moved in, we knew we wanted a house that had more space so that we could entertain because we love having our friends over. So it was important to me when we moved here though that I had storage because I was used to a lot of storage over in our other house, things that I had designed and I missed those when I moved in. So I wanted to recreate some of that here in the new house, plenty of space to work with. I will tell you designing for myself is much harder than designing for a client and I, I grueled over the process but eventually got it all together love everything I've done so I would love to share it with you come on I'll, I'll show you around so welcome to my den when we moved in this was just a wall with windows and I knew it lent itself perfectly to some type of a bookcase arrangement I also am a big fan of window seats, so I wanted to do something under the window that provided a little extra seating in case we needed it. We had about 40 people over here around Christmas time, and this was a perfect place for people to sit. So it's worked really well for us. What I did was create bookcases, and an interesting fact about this, because at Closet Factory, we there are many checks and balances to any design that goes through. So Jeff, our owner, really does process every design that gets submitted, and he processed mine. We've done crown molding, we did dental around the top as a trim because that was also around my fireplace mantle. So I wanted to tie it all in. I liked this particular countertop because it's more of a marble look, so you see the black running through it. And I also needed a ton of storage. So I've got six drawers here. They are the full extension drawers and we had to route around vents that came out of the floor. So we did a little bit of that, that came through the baseboard and it's now the focal point of the room. I absolutely love this space and it allowed me to store all of the books that I didn't want to part with and then family pictures and things like that. So it's really just a beautiful piece. I love it and I get a lot of compliments on it. So that's my den bookcase and we'll go on upstairs and I'll show you another piece I designed. So welcome to my bedroom. If this looks vaguely familiar, it's because my den unit is directly beneath this unit here. This wall lent itself perfectly to being our new dresser and I love the way that it turned out. So we have split the unit in half, I've got one set of cabinet doors. He has the other, and then we each have six drawers here. The drawers, as, as you know about Closet Factory products, they're 100% full extension. And we love it so much that we're actually as one of our future projects because just like my customers, I have a list of projects that I want to accomplish. And just like my customers, they are not free, so I pay for them too. And I have to wait for my installation dates just like my clients do but we have other projects we wanna do. We wanna have another one of these here in the bedroom. That'll be a different type of storage solution. And I'm probably gonna do a unit in my office downstairs and a unit in our laundry room. And I'm really glad that you've gotten to see what I have designed for myself. So now you've seen my bedroom piece and it looks like the timing is perfect because the paintball team has arrived. So time to get suited up. You've seen the professional side of me. Now you're going to see the side of me that doesn't mind getting down and dirty and having some fun. So I'll catch you in a few minutes and you will see some action.
we've got the panels all pinned up and all the uh, top and bottom shelves ready to be uh, attached. So we're gonna go ahead and start assembling the structure and get that part of it knocked out and leveled. And then, all right, here we go. Now that the unit is all leveled, I'm gonna go ahead and put the kick plates in. You'll notice now that I'm getting ready to pin the panels, you'll see that there is a extra row of system holes here. That's because of the uh, depth of these panels and with the weight of the items going on them, it just helps, uh, you know, more with the structural integrity. Someone about got beat up. Someone about got beat up by security. Checking up on this guy, especially this guy right here. I'm always ready to lend a hand. I've been building this whole thing by myself for this. Whoa. <laughs> I got it. I saved us all. See what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him one more you thing. You left it sitting here. I'm going to give him one more thing somebody. where he can't move and we're all going to go get dessert. <laughs> So all we got left now is just to build a little base section where the drawers and the baskets are going to go. Um, and then we have uh, just a little bit of Omnitrack that's going to hang on the walls and that'll be it. What I'm doing here is on this wall, we're installing what's called Omnitrack. And uh, it looks like this. It's a really durable wall and unit. You can hang uh, various accessory hooks from this. I imagine they're probably going to store things like uh, cables and whatnot. And you'll see the hooks and whatnot that go up on here. What they have to do is level it out, space it in between the door and this shelving unit attached to the studs and then there you go. All right, now that we're all finished, we're gonna go ahead and get the client. Well, here it is. Oh man, this is incredible. A lot better than what it was. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's a lot better. I'm surprised that all this stuff actually fit in here. I had no idea how much stuff we actually had in here. Yep, Which and you'll be able to fit it all back in in an organized fashion. Well, <clears throat> it's going to take a little bit of time to figure out how to put everything together, but yeah, this, is, this gives us a lot of options. 
Yes. This is amazing. Well, let me give you a little tour. Yeah, please do. Um, these cubbies up here have adjustable shelving in them. You can move them up and down, but the whole function of the cubbies is to have a go-to area to grab small items and run out the door. The countertop was designed to actually hold the radios here and their loading docks and they're actually plugged into an outlet underneath. Um, the baskets are for your black drapes for filming. So we have two baskets, you can just throw your drapes in there, pull them out when you need them. Oh, sweet, great. We have four drawers, they, um, they get deeper as you go down and they are going to be used to store all your media. Um, Very cool. One design touch that I wanted to point out is that I added these underlays and then up there at the very top is an accent top just to give it a nice finishing look to it. This is just general shelving. It's 24 inches deep. You're going to be able to, most of the items you had in here were very large so we made the, all the shelving extra deep. So you'll be able to move the shelves up and down to whatever you decide you want to store in this whole entire wall. That's great. So you can really customize it any way we want. Yes, you? yes. Okay. Excellent. Yes. The only thing you have to keep in mind is you will not be able to store anything above the top shelf because you'll need that two foot clearance right. uh, for building code. Yep. Yep. Right. Um, down here, we have two rows of Omnitrack. And this is what we usually install in residential garages. Um, these hooks are nine inches long and you'll be able to store all your cables on here and even furniture such as your stools. You had a lot of stools in here. Really? You can hang and you can just here. put your stool right on any of these hooks and get them off the floor and you can stack them on there That's too. That's fantastic. Even your director's chairs. You had some director's chairs. Yeah. You can fold them up and just line them all up on these hooks. That's awesome. Yeah, you do not need to be concerned with how heavy it is. These are industrial grade and they will support any heavy piece of equipment that you have in here. Isn't it great? Mm -hmm. And then over here we have two more cases here. This is the medium case, so there were a lot of uh, storage cases that were a medium size. I measured them. Um, they're 30 inches deep because the cases were extra deep. And you can adjust the shelving to the height of the cases and just slide them on in. Those are some big shelves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this unit right here is for the small cases. Got it. So, Got it. And this we decided to keep. Sure, it makes sense. It, mm -hmm. it, it was definitely, it's an industrial grade shelf designed to support these extra heavy boxes and it made sense to keep this in the design. Sure. Karen, this is, a, I mean, amazing. I can't believe, and you guys did this in how long? Not even a day. That's. I can't wait to come in here and start using this stuff. So. Yes, yes. So I'm very excited that you're excited. I am. This is great. And um, enjoy putting everything back in. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Kind of putting together a jigsaw puzzle. I'm looking forward to starting it. Yep. So. Great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It was wonderful. It was wonderful, too. And I enjoyed working with you and Likewise. your crew. Likewise. It was fun. I'm glad that it's over. But now, actually, the, the work has just begun. Now that all this has been installed, now it's figuring out how to put the puzzles together uh, to use the stuff to the best that we can. We want to try to take advantage of all that they've put in here. Um, it, it, it's amazing stuff. It really is. It's amazing stuff. I'm really looking forward to seeing how we can utilize it the best that we can. All right, we just finished up the Cox Creative Services production gear room. Uh, everything went really good. Um, they're going to have a lot of extra space to uh, put stuff and not have it all over the place, so it all, it all turned out real good. Yeah, and they still have room for the large desk that's going to go here. Uh, they're able to take advantage of the height of the room. I don't see them having any issues in the future or any time of having any storage dilemmas. So, all, right, all right, next let's go. go. Wow, another great install. The client's happy, they're thrilled with what they got, the blue countertop pop. I'm happy that they're happy. Until next time.